ringing the gong after buying a Can-Am Riker Sport. It did not take me long to decide that I wanted a three-wheeled motorcycle after seeing an old couple in town riding on theirs. Now, I didn't want something this small, but it sparked a need in me to get a three-wheeler. Some people call these motorcycles. Some people call them three-wheelers. Some people disagree that they're motorcycles at all because they have three wheels. A Can-Am Riker Sport is my choice. Let's take a look at how the dealer sets you up for riding success. Cool, I'll do a little walk around with you. So. It's a desk key. It's got microchips inside. It only works on your Pan Am. It doesn't work on any others. Here's your post. You just push it onto there. This is your parking brake here. Obviously hand grips. You can move the mirrors around however you want. If you want to run them kind of more retro cafe style, you can flip them around. Is this a key? That's a lock. Yeah, so you have a key that locks your ignition, your parking brake, so you can't take it on or off. No one can take it. So set up your mirrors however you want. Get comfortable. You can, all the foot pegs are movable as well. You can move them back and forth depending on how tall you are short like me um, so got your key on you got electric start over here you got a kill switch if it's on X that's kill it's not gonna do anything if you want to start it flip it down you're gonna hold your throttle put your foot brake in on with your right foot hold your foot brake hit the electric start and roll forward that'll start it it will not start if you don't hold the foot if you have to do all three of those at the same time or else it will not start kind of like a little safety mechanism so get all that taken care of you got low beams on your headlight, high beam, low beam, high beam on headlights, turn signals, horn. You have cruise control over here. They did not have cruise control on 21 models, but they do on the 22s. And then of course you can move your handlebars front, forward and backwards depending on where you want them set as well. Fuel gauges on here, it's full of fuel. We filled it up for you. Temp gauge on the side. You got RPMs, miles per hour, everything else covered in here. It also tells you what gear you're in. So take off the parking brake. Just flip this down. That takes it off. We're in forward right now. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse. You can do it with your foot or with your hand. I reach out with my hand. Pull it back. It beeps, letting you know that you're in reverse. Let off the brake. And it'll roll back or you can hit the throttle. And go back a little faster. It automatically does emergency blast screws whenever you put it in reverse. And then from there, come around to the other side. Now we're done backing up, so we'll put it back in forward. Just push that forward with your foot. It goes into forward. And then you can hit your throttle and go. Whenever you want to stop, stop. Now, another feature that it does have, if you turn it off now and we don't have the parking brake set, it's gonna start beeping at me. It's not gonna stop beeping until you put it in park. Once you put it in park, then it stops beeping. That's pretty much it. Fuel tank's here, you need to get fuel. It is also locked, same key opens this and the parking brake lock. So, pretty easy to get to everything. And then uh, if you needed to get into storage with a spare key and owner's manual and all that is, it'll only open, it stays locked, unless the vehicle is started. So you start it, push down to unlock it, open that up. Here we have your owner's manual, the key for your gas tank and your lock. It has a spare key for that and a spare key for the Riker itself. Keep all that in there. So in with your paperwork, you've got the owner's manual. There's warranty registration paperwork. That's a paper copy. We all do all that electronically for you. It's already handled. You don't have to worry about it. Then there's a buyer's tag. There's also temp tags on the back of it already registered under your name. So you're good to go. The state will send you your permanent plates in the mail, just like they do with a car or truck. That's pretty much it. You want to take it for a spin? She's all yours. You. I'm going to turn it off. That way you can walk through all the steps. I'll let you start it up. Make sure you got it started and then I'll let you take off. Of the six motorcycles I've purchased in my life, I haven't test ridden any of them until after I bought them.